I like to tell my friends that uh, I live in a postcard because uh, Delft is so beautiful. And I really love living in Delft. I mean, how exciting is it to, um, to, to live, to work, to shop in spaces that people have lived, worked, and shopped in for over 500 years? Um, every day, I feel like I breathe in a little bit of this past. Um, at the same time, I spend most of my days uh, at an institution that constantly looks to the future. Um, at TU, the most, some of the most innovative technical minds are working on projects like um, the Sense Umbrella or new composite materials or um, the solar car that's actually the fastest on the planet. How exciting would it be to bring these two worlds, though so very different and apart, very fundamental parts of Delft, together in one project? Um, luckily, we can do this. Uh, so on the one hand, we have a beautiful old building site that what Molly has already um, introduced a little bit uh, used to be one of the most innovative uh, centers in Delft. Um, it was the headquarters for the um, military research and development uh, laboratories where they developed saltpeter things and uh, they stored some of the, the bigger, more valuable weaponry. Um, so how exciting is it that this is the site that we get to use to bring technology and history together. When we speak of technology, or when I like to think of innovation, um, what happens is that um, really what, what makes innovation is the coming together of different people, of different minds, of, of different ideas, and the interaction of those things all come together and culminate into innovation. So in order to do this, um, I've devised uh, three levels of technology that should be brought together. The first being students, so some, some technical students, engineers, architects, designers, things like that from the TU, uh, should be paired up together with um, startup companies, so young entrepreneurs, little businesses. Um, and on the other end, there would be some established companies, thinking Philips or Shell or big companies that uh, have made a name for themselves in the technolo technological field. Bringing all these together and having places for them to interact would really bring about innovation. So where can we make the space? If we look at, um, if we look at the space at hand, uh, the Pire de Marte is actually a center square around which certain buildings are grouped. Uh, these buildings are all focused onto the square, which makes the square a very um, perfect place for all these people to come together. It used to be the space where um, old cannons and bigger artillery was kept, and because of its central location, it was easy to guard. The same reason makes it really great for um, an interactive space. However, it's also one of the most architecturally important features of the site. So if we built a huge volume there, it would really detract from this and would kind of ruin the, the, the spirit of the site. So I've devised a way to uh, go around that and is to lower the space into the ground. What results is a beautiful square that used to be empty and open, as you saw in this, this earlier picture, and is now really reactivated by just adding a few elements. So we have some, um, some old cannons and places to sit that refer to its previous use, and a lighthouse that gives a hint of what happens underneath. And with a square like this, people will be, the people working all around it will be drawn out, will be drawn into it, will be able to sit and meet and have lunch or just enjoy a little bit of fresh air away from their computer screens. If it's raining or cold or, you know, 70% of the time in Holland, there's an alternative, <laughs> which is under the square. Uh, here, there will be the coffee corner, and uh, as everybody knows, coffee uh, means social interaction and people talking, getting together, taking breaks from their daily uh, routines. And this is where um, people can come and chat, and this is where the real interaction would happen. So, for example, the engineering, uh, electrical engineering student can have a latte with the CEO of Philips, and who knows what kind of innovation will result. Finally, to bring it all together, there's a grand new entrance to the Barda Markt. This is where the, um, the beautiful old 17th century architecture and brickwork will really be showcased and preserved. Um, and you descend slowly into this new volume underneath that's new and where you learn, where you interact, and where you innovate. So it's really the perfect metaphor for the meeting of technology and history. Thank you.